I'm Dr. Suvachla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. After fertilization of the egg by a sperm, implantation of this embryo onto the endometrium or the uterine lining is a very complex and important procedure. Now, if there is any disruption, then the problem comes with the implantation of the embryo. The timing of embryo development and its implantation is a key part of getting pregnant. Now, sometimes when the uh, embryo is ready, when the egg is fertilized inside the tube and it travels down the tube onto the endometrium, there could be a mismatch in the endometrial receptivity and the ability of the embryo to implant onto the endometrium. This is called as implantation failure. When the embryo is not able to implant on the endometrium, it's called implantation failure. And this is assessed by endometrial receptivity. There are about 250 genes now associated with implantation, which are very, very critical. Some released by the endometrium, some released by the embryo. They are like the signals they are giving to each other by which they, you know, find the right spot for implantation. Implantation, as I said, is a very complex procedure which has to be done at that particular time. Especially when we are talking about patients who come for IUI or IVF, these couples or these women actually may have a problem with endometrial receptivity. The endometrium could be under the required size or it could be over mature. At that time, there is a disruption like I said. So the implantation is not brought about. This ability or this duration where the endometrium is ready for the embryo and the embryo is ready to implant is called the implantation window and if it is uh, crossed or if it is before then the chance of success is very very reduced therefore it's very critical that the embryo be placed inside the the uterus at the right time when you're trying to get pregnant naturally on your own this is also very critical and in some cases very thin endometrium which means that the blood flow to the endometrium is not good could be the cause of implantation failure in cases of iui and ivf this is a very strong factor that clinicians look at when the endometrium is not growing they try to increase the blood supply to the endometrium and make it at the right size so that the chance of success increases this can be true of iui and ivf and the doctor will very carefully track your endometrium to make it of the right size to increase your chance of success. If you want to understand more about endometrial receptivity, if you have been diagnosed with thin endometrium condition, you want to understand more and enhance your chance of success, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.